Oh, what's up guys? So I, so when I did my DNA test, um, obviously I knew I had some heritage from Southern Europe and obviously I have ancestry from Galicia, but I wanted to know more specifically what exact town, what I want to know the province and the town in Galicia. Okay. Cause you know, there's different provinces in Galicia, like Pontevedra, uh, Urense, uh, La Coruña, Santiago de Compostela, I believe is a province as well. Uh, so I wanted to know what province and what town in Galicia my family was from. Um, and I also had questions about uh, my, I believe my, yeah, my 19th great grandma, Cotanza Salmiento. You look over here. Cotanza Salmiento. Mira, mira aquí. Esta es Cotanza Salmiento, ¿verdad? So, I, would, I wanted to know, and, and I googled, I googled it, and I found out her dad was Pedro Ruiz Salmiento y Velasco. Um, so, yo, check it. This is what I found. Pedro Ruiz Salmiento. He uh, passed away in Lisboa in 1384, and he was the son of Diego Perez Salmiento and Maria de Velasco. He was the Lord of Rivadavia, Sobroso, Valleacha, Petan, Parada y Deva, and uh, the poet of the castles of Juvenco, Rocco, and Pena Colneira. All right, and he was also the, the Adelantao Mayor uh, of Galicia and the Field Marshal of Castilla, right? Um, and you can see he was the son of Diego Perez Salmiento and Maria de Velasco. And on his dad's side, his paternal side, he was the grandson of Galci Fernandez Salmiento and Teres Teresa de Guman. And uh, a historian named Jose Pellicel uh, signals that his maternal grandma was Leonor, Lo Leonor Le Aro, right? And, and that was the daughter of Fernando Dia de Aro and Maria de Portugal, okay? Um, and that has not been verified. Uh, and then also on his mom's side, he was, other people believe on his mom's side that uh, he was the grandson of Fernan Sanchez de Velasco. And um, who else? And yeah, yeah, that was his. And and some people think that Juana de la Ca de Castañeda was his uh, grandma on his mom's side. So there's a little controversy surrounding that. And he, he was the field marshal of Cast. Oh, his brother was Mar field marshal of Castilla and married Leonor Enrique de Castilla. So I believe he was born in Rivadavia. That's when that's what I, I indicated on my family tree. It says Pedro Ruiz. Salmiento y Velasco, uh, birth Rivadavia, Orense, Galicia, Spain, and his death was in 1384 in Lisboa, in Lisboa, Portu Portugal, or Portugal, if you speak Portuguese, right? And I thought that was I thought that was fascinating. I thought that was really fascinating, um, because if you see, in terms of ancestry on the Iberian Peninsula. And in turn, I have high, high, my highest matches on the Iberian Peninsula are from Portugal, Mallorca, Galicia, Castilla y León, and Catalonia. Now we know the, the Folk, F-O-L-C family, uh, was from Catalonia, the Requesen family, and part of the Zuniga family, uh, Z-U with the accent, Enye, I-G-A family. Uh, that's their, that was their last name, was from Catalonia, right? And we know that the Trastamara uh, family and the uh, Álvarez de Toledo family and La Casa de Mendoza, part of La Casa de Benavente. Um, who else? Who else? La Casa de Figueroa. All of them were from Castilla y León, right? We know La Casa de Salmiento and I believe part of La Casa de Tella y Jerón uh, part of La Casa de Giron was from Galicia and then La Ca part of La Casa de Benavente was from Portugal and some of them was from Galicia um, 
la casa de Teya y Heron or the Teya Heron was also had also had roots in Galicia and Portugal as well. Um, so that makes sense. La Casa de Pacheco was from Portugal. I believe they were from Lisboa and they migrated to Cuenca and to uh, Belalcázar and Aguilar de la Frontera down in Andalusia. So that makes sense too. And I mean, that makes sense why I'm only a small bit Andalusian, Andalu from Andalusia and why I'm only a small bit um, from Valencia and from, I believe that would be Aragon because you would have um, Vizcaya, Guipúzcoa, or that could be Castilla-La Mancha. That might be Castilla-La Mancha. A little bit from Castilla-La Mancha. And then you have Guipúzcoa and Vizcaya and Álava, which is the Basque country. And then you have Aragón right there. So that would make sense. Or that could be La Rioja or Navarra, right? It's not that clear. We do know that is Galicia. We do know that is Madrid and Castilla y León, and that is Andalusia, right? And we do know that is Catalonia. That is Isla Baleares, specifically Mallorca, right? We do know that's Valencia and it could include Murcia, which is down right around here. Uh, and that is Portugal or Portugal, you're Portuguese, right? Um, so there you go. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, and back to, cause, let me see this. Condado de Gondomar. Oh, there we go. Señor de Rivadavia. Now, Rivadavia. Rivadavia is a municipality situated in the west of the province of Urense in Galicia. And it belongs to the Colmalca de Ribeiro. And it is a seat of the ju second judicial party uh, in the province of Urense, right? And the etymology, the name comes from the waves or the shores, la Ajoria de Rio Avia, from the Rio Avia, right? Um, and it was integrated in to la Comarca de Ribeiro, del Ribeiro, not del Ribeiro. No, we speak Castellano. <laughs> we're Spanish. We got we're Galician, but we proudly Spanish. Um, but yeah, you can read the history about it. And, and Galicia is, it's in northwestern Spain, okay? It's in Atlantic Europe. So this here is Galicia. Galicia is a autonomous community and a historic nationality um, according to the, uh, the Statute of Autonomy. And it's uh, situated on the northwest of the Iberian Peninsula and is formed with the provinces of La Coruña, Lugo, Urense, and Pontevedra. And... And there is 313 municipalities um, and they're grouped into three comalca and the capital city of the region is Santiago de Compostela and the, the most populated is Vigo. And there's obviously the famous football club in Vigo, Celta de Vigo. Um, and, and Galicia, it's interesting because that forms part of uh, Atlantic Europe. Now, where's my tab? Uh, there we go. See, ADHD and having hella tabs open, <laughs> they go hand in hand, yeah? Atlantic Europe uh, comprises the Atlantic Isles, Iceland, Belgium, Netherlands, the central and northern regions of Portugal, uh, northwestern and northern Spain, including Galicia, Asturias, Cantabria, southern Basque Country, and some portions of Castilla y León, and southwestern and western portion of France, North Basque Country, and Scandinavia, western Scandinavia, northern Germany. Okay. The culture, now, there's hella Celtic influence culture. Los Celta, ¿verdad? All right. Um, so there was, the Atlantic Bronze Age is a cultural complex of the Bronze Age, approximately 1300 to 700 BC, that marked the economic and cultural exchange between the, the current territories of Portugal, Spain, France, Great Britain, which would be like England, Scotland, Wales, right? And Ireland, right? So during this this time throughout Atlantic Europe, tin throughout Atlantic Europe was traded from throughout Atlantic Europe was traded in the Mediterranean via the Bell Beaker culture. Atlantic and Central Europe were close in contact from at least the third millennium BC, contributing to what would emerge as the Celtic culture of the West Central European Iron Age. 
that is fascinating. And number, and also I've talked about culture present. Uh, a number of authors have postulated there's still a cu cultural continuum, you know, with the bagpipes, with the bacalao and all that type of shit. Forming a cultural unit um, which has historic roots in prehistoric times but remain until today. Thanks mostly to sea trade, there is ferry boats from northern Spain, like from Bilbao to Southampton in England. So that makes sense. Um, Geographers also mentioned the influence of the natural environment in the construction of a similar landscape along the Western European coast. Some of the first geographers to consider this idea of Atlantic Europe were Otero Pedrayo and Orlando Ribeiro. Pedrayo stated in his studies about Galicia that this territory was marked by a strong Atlantic character, not Mediterranean. 